All right, all right. What's shaking, everybody? Luke Dancy here, back with you after the Christmas break. Hope you're all doing great out there and got everything that you wanted for Christmas. So, did get some magic for the holidays. Let me know in the comments what you got this year for Christmas. What kind of gifts did you get when it comes to magic and all the good stuff like that? Uh, we do have a giveaway for you. You know, we're in the giving mood. Every single week, we are in a giving mood. Uh, so, I've got magic to hook you guys up with, and this is what you have a chance to win this week. I'm talking about airplane mode from George Iglesias. Uh, we talked about this a while back. It is not just a trick. It is a full-blown minimalism routine, and you have a chance to win it. That's right, my friend. You have a chance to win it this week. All you need to do is tell me what is your New Year's resolution in the comments on YouTube, underneath the video in the description, tell me, on Facebook in the comments there. Also, click the like button. Like this video and tell me in the comments what is your New Year's resolution for 2021. Uh, particularly when it comes to magic. Do you have any magic goals, anything you've been working on that you really want to finish up? Or maybe there's something you want to start in 2021 that you've always wanted to do. So that is what you need to tell me in the comments is what is your resolution for the new year? Uh, and we will announce the winners next week to find out if you are one of those two winners. All right. Uh, this again is a great minimalism, uh, full-blown routine. So check it out. I'll show you the trailer in a little bit. Um, but we want to get to our winners, of course, from last week, which was actually two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we had winners um, on YouTube and Facebook, as always, for a very special prize. Our YouTube winner was Randall Miller. Randall, you're getting lots of love there. Congrats to you, Randall. You're going to grab one of these. We'll talk more about this in just a second. So Randall, congrats on YouTube. He was the winner. Our winner from Facebook was... Andrew Niner. Congrats to Andrew Niner on being our Facebook winner. Again, these winners are from two weeks ago because I do these shows every single Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, what did they win? You're probably asking yourself. Well, good question. They're winning the Vanille playing cards from Paul Rubaya, a brand new deck of cards, very sexy stuff, very cool stuff. They're both going to grab a deck just for watching, just for commenting, and just for dropping a like on the video. So Michael Mayo, good to see you out there, sir. And the rest of you guys out there. Got some uh, New Year's resolutions coming in already. Uh, Michael Sproul uh, is to learn cups and bowls. So cups and bowls routine. That's cool, man. That is very cool. There's some good ones out there. Uh, one of my favorites is the David Regal routine. Cups and bowls. Cups and bowls. You have to check it out. It's got some good surprises along the way. Uh, and congrats, yes, our friends out there giving some congrats. What's up, Gavin? Good to see you. And all of our friends out there, I hope you all had a great holiday once again. And we have a brand new year coming up here in just a couple of days, which is uh, pretty crazy, right? Crazy, pretty crazy stuff. All right, so if you were one of those two winners uh, for our Vini giveaway this week, uh, make sure to drop me an email, social at murphysmagic.com to claim your prize. Um, get in touch with us, we'll get your info, and we'll get your deck of cards out the door and in the mail. Um, hopefully our winners, all of our winners over the holidays should start getting their prizes now. They were a little backed up there with the holiday, but hopefully now, those prizes are getting into your hands. So if you are watching and you're a past winner, let me know if your prizes have arrived, okay? All right, cool stuff. Uh, let's see, another New Year's resolution, start learning table card routines and learn a coin matrix. I gotta tell you something, that is the perfect segue to show you a preview for something totally epic. Um, I did not know you were gonna post that or say that, um, but, on Monday, there is a huge product dropping on Monday. And I've got your exclusive preview right here. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. This is something that Chris Kenner says. The magician in the trailer you're going to see is one of his favorite magicians of this era. Chris Kenner, yeah, David Copperfield's right-hand guy is, is giving a lot of love for this particular magician. This is dropping on Monday. And the artist you're going to see will be live with me next week on Wednesday. We'll do some live magic for you. We'll talk all about his project, but Monarch is what I'm talking about. Um, that is your preview. I'm going to show you this week because we don't have any releases on Friday because it's the new year. Um, so if you like coin matrixes, this is what I call not just a coin trick, but real coin magic. This is your very first exclusive look at Monarch from the kick-ass Ava Yap. Check it out. When I was first introduced to the magic industry, I was known to be a card guy, someone that does very knacky and very visual card magic. But as you've come to know it, I'm a coin guy. Where did that come from? Huh? 
I am completely fooled. Holy cow. And this is the one that stopped at all. This routine is one of my oldest creations and it has evolved over and over again over the years. When I meet someone and when they ask me to do something, this is usually the routine that I show. In fact, in conventions, when I meet big name magicians, this is also the routine that I show. Ooh, what what the fuck? Okay, was that a little bit too quick? The yeah, last one, I'm gonna slow quick. down. Okay. Um, you know what, let's restart. Uh, this is one. <laughs> uh, okay. And then there's uh, two. Yeah. Like I said, the last one in slow motion. Ooh. Beautiful. That was cool. Thank you so much. That was very cool. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. That is your first look at Monarch from the incredible Avi Yap. Avi is a uh, magician from Singapore uh, that I've had a chance to get to know during the quarantine, uh, thanks to the online space. And you're gonna get your first real look at some of his incredible coin magic on Monday. The full trailer drops in, so check it out. Um, again, Chris Kenner says that uh, Avi Yap is one of his favorite magicians of this era. And that says a lot about the guy, you know, uh, about Avi. So keep an eye out for this. 3 p.m. Eastern time. It will drop on Facebook and YouTube. You'll see the full trailer then. It does come in three different coin gimmicks. You get your quarters, your um, half dollars, and your uh, Morgan replicas. I believe they're the Morgan replicas. Um, they're sold separately, but I did want to let you know um, that these will be available in different sizes. But all the details will be dropped on Monday. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. It's hot stuff. Uh, if you've never seen Avi's magic before, you are in for a real treat. Um, Maddie wants to know how much. Um, it varies by the choice of coin that you want to get um, because it is available in three different choices. I think it's like 50 for the quarter, 60 for the half, and I think it's 70 or 75 for the dollar, I believe. Don't hold me to that, but it's a tiered process with the pricing. Okay. Uh, Tate says, don't do coins, but I don't have to start. This will definitely give you a good kickstart if you're into, you know, this kind of highly visual stuff. Uh, Avi creates incredible stuff. Uh, Danny Ricks, good to see you, buddy. Uh, it says, is not only a great friend and human, but his hands make coins bleed. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with that. He's, he's pretty awesome at what he does. So, um, yeah, so that is an epic thing. I was very excited to bring that to you today. When I saw it hit our system, I'm like, got to give the guys a first look at that. So. Um, you just said it came with the coins though. Uh, it comes with the gimmicks. There's a gimmick involved for each uh, of these routines that are included in this matrix set. Uh, but again, it comes in different sizes. Uh, and I, I had the specifics in front of me. I don't at the moment, but I'll give you more details later about this. If you have more questions, Daniel, you can always reach out to me uh, as well directly. Okay. Uh, I will give you a shout out. Uh, Cole Strasburg Magic. Not sure why we should just randomly tell people to sub to you, but Hello. <laughs> is that what you do? You just hop on other people's streams and you're like, hey, check me out. Check me out. Hey, man, it's good to see you out there. Okay. You didn't even say hello. <laughs> also to my friends out there enjoying Taco Tuesday. I don't have tacos tonight. Um, so if you are rocking the tacos, let me know in the comments. Uh, normally, we are enjoying some tacos together. It is Taco Tuesday, but it's the holidays. So I'm taking a break with the tacos tonight. So yeah, but if you are enjoying them, let me know. What kind of tacos do you guys have in tonight? What are you guys having out there? All right. Okay. Uh, let me see what else i got to show you guys tonight. There's a lot of fun stuff. And again, if you're just joining us, we are doing a giveaway um, for airplane mode. Again, this is not just one trick. It is a full routine, uh, minimalism stuff, and a killer quote from David Copperfield on this as well. So, uh, you know, it's good. Again, if you want to enter, if you're just joining us here. Uh, all you need to do is tell me what's your New Year's, New Year's resolution. I guess mine should be to learn how to say that. Um, drop a like on this and in the comments, tell me what is your new year's resolution. You can see it's 70 bucks. We're giving away one for YouTube and one for Facebook. So if you want to double dip, go to both spots and you can get in uh, to win that. We'll announce the winners next week. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tate says, had chicken, bacon, and noodles. And all right. Sounds good. Maddie's uh, wonder, did you have tacos? Did you have some tacos? 
Uh, Frankie's giving my fiance a nice happy birthday. It is my fiance's birthday today, so big thank you. All right. Uh, I have a New Year's show live and virtual. That's awesome, man. That's good. I'm glad you guys are staying busy with some of those shows. I know it's tough, you know, with all the stuff going on out there. So keep it going, guys. Keep it going. We're in a new year almost. It can only get better from here, right? All right. <laughs> What's up, Mike Jones? Good to see you out there. Thanks for the like. Appreciate you. A good question out there from Matthew Paul. Are you going to make a top 10 video this year? I will. Um, I like to do mine right after the new year, though. So a lot of people have already dropped them. I like to wait. That way, everyone else gets theirs out of the way, and then bam. So, yes, I will do a top 10 video. Promise, promise, promise. All right, cool. Uh, let me see on my list here. Uh, i got some pics to show you guys, some really cool stuff. Uh, and I also am here to answer your questions. If you have any questions magic-wise, be sure to uh, to let me know. Okay? All right. Uh, you know, I think we should just jump right into this week's What's Crazy segment. Uh, we're talking about products. Let's jump into something. If you haven't seen this yet, this one comes from, a uh, not Avi yet, but this one comes from another amazing magician, Jackie Yu. Uh, this is a fun piece of magic. It's not even just one piece. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And that's why I wanted him to be here on What's Crazy this week. If you haven't seen this yet, man, put your cards down and just enjoy this card porn. It is card porn with playing cards. We'll check it out. So you guys out there in the comments saying, oh my, yeah, it came at the end. There's Jiki Yu, the man, incredible hands of Jiki Yu. Um, if you haven't seen his magic before, you need to go check him out. He's all over the place on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. He's been crushing it. Um, I love his magic, so definitely uh, check him out. Uh, the stuff he does, uh, the incredibly difficult stuff he does with the deck of cards looks effortless in his hands. So much love <laughs> to this guy, Jiki Yu. Legit. Legit. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, about the cards that he was using in this clip, I want to let you know I had these queued up to show you as well. Um, these are the brand new Play Dead V2 editions from our friends over at Riffle Shuffle, you know, Kevin Yu. Uh, and it's a beautiful um, deck of cards, V2, so it's a nice uh, complement to the originals. Here's a nice look at the tuck of these. Here's a look at some of those beautiful aces. I know everyone's all about the aces and a nice big shot there of the ace of spades. That's a nice looking ace of spades there, huh? Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, I got a few other pictures here to show you guys. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, here's a look at some of the number, here's a number card and the picture card. You got the Jack, Queen, King and the ace again there. So look at those custom court cards right there. Uh, if you wanna look at the back of the cards, there you go. Little back of the cards, a little mini fan there, a little spread going on of the Play Dead V2s. Uh, a few more cards. These are the court cards. You can see, again, the custom artwork, of course, playing on the whole Play Dead angle. So the skulls, you know, all that fun stuff. And one more peek at the aces, a couple of aces there. So those are um, the cards Jicky was using in the clip. Just thought you'd like to see that too, if you were wondering. Um, and uh, just because you buy the cards doesn't mean you'll be able to perform like Jicky, you. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can if you practice. Uh, I will say that. Uh, Daniel saying pretty deck. It's a good one. Uh, are they a little larger than a standard deck? Nope. Uh, standard deck of cards. Uh, nothing different about them uh, other than the design, obviously. Uh, a few more details. These are printed by the U.S. Plank Art Company, USPCC. Uh, and the really nice thing is, for me anyway, they're on that beautiful crushed B stock. So you guys know the same quality of cards. Uh, the cherries are on that nice kind of soft stock. That's crushed B stock. It's the same stock these cards are also printed on. So uh, I thought you might like to know that as well. So again, these are the 
Play Dead V2s. There you go. Hope you enjoyed those, and I hope you enjoyed Jicky Yu joining me this week on What's Crazy This Week. <laughs> and I'm back to the countdown. I'm just like, I'm ready to keep going and going. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, they did look larger in Jiki's video. No, just a regular deck of cards. He might just have small hands. He could just have some small hands. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tony, my New Year's resolution will be learning all phases of It Can't Be Done Any Slower by Rene Levant. That's a beautiful routine. He's talking about his oil and water routine. If you don't know, uh, Rene Levant, no longer with us, but was a true giant of magic. But he could only do magic with one hand. And that's what made him really impressive with the stuff that he did. So, yeah, uh, I like that routine. Uh, Maddie, boy, your brother's getting some Taco Bell on the old Taco Tuesday. Digging it, man. Digging it. What kind of what kind of tacos? You get Supremes. You get the regulars. What are you gonna get? What you get this week? Because it is Taco Tuesday, you guys out there. We were enjoying some tacos together last time. So, yeah. All right. It is now time to jump into a couple more things with you guys few more fun pieces of magic to show you. This one is back in stock and it is a beautiful piece of magic that's great for social media. It's great for virtual shows. I know people are doing a lot of these type of things now um, because of the situation we're all in. Um, this is an older release that we just got back in stock. And I thought you would really enjoy seeing this if you haven't seen it before. It's called Split. Um, and it has some great quotes. Uh, Dynamo says, the sickest way to break a bill. Uh, yeah, there's a, all kinds of great quotes on this one. John Archer, uh, the most magical bill switch he ever saw. You know, John is a master at what he does. Uh, again, Dynamo has got some quotes here. So I'm going to show you the trailer. If you haven't seen this before, the visuals will honestly speak for themselves. Um, you get everything you need with this pretty much in any country you're in to start doing this. Um, as you can see, the gimmick is included, 10 bills, 20 different options. So I'm going to shut up and just show you split. If you've never seen it, um, have a peek at this. This is crazy cool. And it is one of two, yes, two tricks this week that are Luke's picks. This is one of Luke's picks this week. It's not new, but it's great. And then I have a quick review for you after this for Punched. There's been a lot of questions about Punched and I've got a quick review for you. So if you've been looking at Punched as well, Stay tuned. I'm going to bring you that review right after you have a look at Split. All right? Check it out. C'est le nouveau billet de, de 100 euros. Vous avez, vous avez vu le nouveau billet de 100 euros euh, Non. C'est machin, ils sont particuliers. On préférait ça pour les anciens de 50. My name is Jean-Luc Bertrand and I'm the producer and director of that really cool effect from Yves Demer. This is called Split. We have had the privilege to be asked by the most influential magician in the world to perform it on the TV special like... John Archer, Dynamo. The effect is so visual, so strong, you don't even have to show you and tell you how cool it is. Just watch.
Okay, I think you guys get the gist of it now. Uh, a very visual way to split and get the, to get the bill to change in a very, very, very visual way. Um, I think it was funny at one point it said real fake bills. <laughs> Real fake bills. All right. That's kind of an oxymoron. But yeah, everything you need is included here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just saw this kind of speaks for itself. It's 40 bucks. That's the question. Um, and yeah, this was hot, hot, hot when it came out a few years ago when it was brand new. Um, and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more people do this now that it's back. So check it out from your favorite magic shop. That is split. That is some good stuff. I got some more New Year's resolutions coming in too. Michael Mayo out there says, uh, his resolution is the same as last year's to study more magic and give respect where it is due. That's a very cool thing uh, to, you know, look, look at the art of magic with, with a perspective of respect, not just stomp all over it and reveal the secrets all over the internet. You know, that's not the, it's not the coolest thing to be doing. Right. Right. Uh, Matthew, he's been studying a lot of stuff by Tom Molica. He was a freaking legend. A good choice, man. Very good choice. Uh, I got some holiday love coming in from John Bing. Um, may whatever you believe in or celebrate be joyous and happy. Also, John Bing, happy holidays to you. And you guys are going to be very, very excited to know this too. John Bing is the creator of Triple Helix. You might not know it by the name, but you probably saw the video that was floating around earlier this year. Uh, I know Chris Ramsey put it up on his thing. There were a bunch of other people. Um, but this is the trick with the card boxes that multiply visually just like it's crazy and then at the end you can take the deck of cards out and you can use the deck of cards it's a kick-ass opener it is called triple helix it is coming soon very very soon uh, within the next number of weeks and i'm gonna have john join me to talk all about it um so keep an eye out for triple helix it is the real deal it is incredibly well made it comes from our friends at Toomey magic same company that puts out twister flavor and the other you know candy magic it's all well done um, so that is going to be a hot piece of magic coming out uh, in just a few weeks, a matter of weeks now, guys. So keep an eye out for Triple Helix. That's going to be a very exciting uh, thing. I know you guys are going to love that one, too. It's perfect for you know, the Internet and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Patrick says there is some arts and crafts for split. Yeah, there's some. Uh, nothing too bad. But uh, the good thing is you get the things you need to kind of get everything together. And it's not the toughest thing in the world to put together so yeah uh, again if you guys are just joining me i want to remind you too with the holidays you know it's about getting you know gifts and and, and more importantly giving gifts whether that's magic uh or just stuff or your time sharing your time with other people you know that's an important thing too uh, but we also like to hook up with free stuff you know uh and so this week's giveaway is a great one uh we have two of these up for grabs uh so make sure you enter to win uh winners will be announced next week it's airplane mode it's a full-blown mentalism routine from George Glacius. If you want to enter to win, number one, drop a like on this video. And number two, tell me what's your New Year's resolution in the comments on YouTube and on Facebook. I'll pick winners from both, and I'll announce them uh, next week. So get in there, and uh, that'll be your chance to win. Uh, again, if you've never seen it, I mentioned earlier, I might show you some of the trailer. Um, basically, this uses a lot of the items that you would see when you go travel, uh, particularly on a plane. Um, and you'll see some of the stuff going on here. And so you're able to make predictions. There's a revelation built into something here. Um, and it's got some fun comedy built into it. Uh, but of course, there's a, a, a packs a punch. There's a punch at the end, too. And you can see David Copperfield's giving it some love. Uh, and it was a sellout at Blackpool, which says a lot about it. So you can see you get the boarding tickets. Uh, you also receive, uh, I think, the uh, the booklet that you would use for the safety stuff. You can see here, he's showing you that. You receive all these things, and you have built-in things with these props. I'm not going to go too deep into this. Um, uh, you also have the menu. He was just showing you the, the drink thing, produce the drink. There's a lot of stuff going on. Of course, you have the, the magazine on the plane. So everything you see here is included. So you're not just getting a trick. You're getting a full routine, which I keep saying over and over. But I think it's cool to say that because a lot of times what we do show you here are just single tricks. So there you go. Uh, so get in there. Again, tell me what your New Year's resolution is. Hopefully you'll stick to it in 2021. I know a lot of us say we're going to do a lot and then we make excuses and we don't, we don't. And I'm guilty of it too. Um, so tell me that and make sure to drop a like and you're in it to win that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Luke or luck. Wait, luck or Luke? I said that wrong. Uh, I'd like to meet some luck. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. Resolutions to meet luck next year. I hear that. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you, Julio. Very nice of you to say. Uh, Gavin, my news, my New Year's resolution is to hit 1,000 subs on my YouTube channel. We'll do it to it, my friend. I'm sure you'll be there in no time, Mr. Gavin. Gavin's a great guy, so you guys should check him out. He's a regular around these parts, so make sure to check him out. All right. Uh, I quit making resolutions years ago and changed them to change them to what? <laughs> change them to what? What? <laughs> Trickster, how we doing, buddy? Uh, hey, I'm from Malaysia. I was just wondering if you had any leads on my cards. So I will tell you a couple things. He was one of our winners during the holidays. Um, because you're international, just give a little more time. Also, our warehouse was really backed up right before and right around Christmas. So things take a little bit of time, uh, particularly when it comes to Malaysia. So uh, you sent us your info. The team has it. Everything, all of our winners, uh, past winners, Everything's been sent out the door, uh, or at least I've given the info to have it all sent out the door. So we should be good to go. Keep an eye out, um, and you should have it hopefully soon, okay? Uh, Cole says to get 500 subs, okay? All right. Uh, Ray, my New Year's resolution for this coming year is to spend more time with my kids and my grandkids. Very important. And it's important, man. You know, they're only kids once, unless you know something I don't know. Uh, and they do grow up very quickly as well. So that's a good resolution. And I think a lot of parents could probably take a little page from that book because, you know, we get wrapped up in our jobs and stress of each day. And sometimes we kind of forget the little things. So it's a good reminder there, too. So thank you, Ray. Uh, let's see. Jason, uh, his resolution is to find Theory 11 decks at half price. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. Um, how cool is it, by the way? We just got these in stock. I don't even know if they're available from Magic Shops yet. We just got the Mandalorian decks in and you'll be finding those in Magic Shops worldwide. So if you've been watching the Mandalorian, have you guys, have you watched it? I watched uh, over the Christmas break, I binge watched both seasons in two nights and I stayed up until 5 a.m. to watch the very last episode of season two and it was worth every second. Um, so speaking of Theory 11, man, props to them for doing a Mandalorian deck of cards. It looks fantastic. Did you guys get one? Did you order one? I know they're on um, pre-order right now, I think. Uh, Maddie got Wallet by Nicholas Sarge. That's cool, man. That's a good one. And Nicholas stuff is always going to be solid. You know? uh, Peter, what's up, buddy? Uh, is to read the books on my shelf that I've been <laughs> avoiding for whatever reason. I heard that, man. A lot of times we get magic uh, books, even old DVDs I have that I never really watched all the way through. So I like that. And I have some books I should reread myself. Yeah. Uh, Luke, have you told us your New Year's, New Year's resolution yet? Um, mine is just to follow through on some of the projects that I have kind of open-ended on. It's just to follow through more. I admit to being a procrastinator sometimes. And that's not the healthiest thing, you know, not, not health-wise, but just in general, you know, it stops you from getting stuff done. I think sometimes... I'm my own worst enemy. I should just get stuff done. So hopefully this year, I will just start pushing through and getting some stuff done. So that's my resolution. That's mine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike Jones, any tips for someone just starting out? Any good reads for beginners? So Mike, yes, I have some tips for you here. Um, it would help me to know, though, if it's a particular part of magic. Is it card magic? Coin magic, general magic, you just want to learn, you know, just kind of general stuff. Um, or is it mentalism? You know, what type of magic are you looking to learn more about? And I've got some resources to tell you for each one of those. So, Mike, if you give me just a little bit more info, I'll be more than happy to give you some resources. Okay. Um, great show, Grogu Ace of Spades. Yes, Mandalorian was a great show. I loved it. Loved it, loved it. And you guys know what else is coming soon? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is dropping on the first. So I don't know about you guys. That's another one of my watches. I love to watch the retro stuff. So Cobra Kai season three is coming. You guys excited too? Or is it just me? I'll eat my tacos and I'll watch Cobra Kai. All right. <laughs> uh, John's resolution is to write scripts and rehearse with props I've had for years. That's a good one, man. That's a really good one. I like it too that you have scripting in there. You know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll get magic. 
and they'll just they'll just do it. They don't think about how to present it. Uh, scripting is very important. And one of my favorite books, Maximum Entertainment, goes over a lot of stuff about that. So props to you for taking that on. That's cool. Uh, Michael Mayo, Die Vernon Book of Magic or Stars of Magic. That's, those are good resources for sure. Uh, Mike Jones, Card and Cardistry. So yeah, the Die Vernon Book of Magic is great. I would say my number one resource, Mike, for card magic in particular, is Card College. Now, don't worry. I know school can sound intimidating, <laughs> you know, to a lot of people. Um, but Card College is anything but that. Uh, and the cool thing is it starts with volume one and then you progress and the things get easier uh, to understand and to learn. But the magic becomes uh, a little more challenging as it goes along. So um, this is what it looks like. They're books. You ask for some books. Uh, they, they do go up in volume. So I'd start with one if you're just learning. The, the, the Honestly, the very first couple pages of the book shows you just how to hold the deck of cards the right way. And I bet there's a lot of people that have been doing magic for a long time that, that don't even do that right. <laughs> so start right and go up. So I definitely think for card magic in particular, check these out. Start with one and go. Um, they teach you slights, and then they teach you tricks to do with the slights, which is great. And some of the tricks in there are from some of the best magicians that have ever been on, uh, around. So that is my pick for that 100%. Okay, so check out Card College. Very good stuff. Uh, also, Mike Mayo's dropping the Cardition. More good stuff. Mike Mayo knows his thing when it comes to card magic. So definitely listen to him too. Um, for general stuff, I was going to mention this one too. Ellis, thanks for mentioning it. The, the Mark Wilson book. Um, it's a great beginner book for general magic for sure. The Mark Wilson. I think it's the Encyclopedia Magic, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a great resource for uh, magic. Uh, let's see. David Rangel, my New Year's resolution is to travel more if possible. Yeah, man. I'm itching to travel too, brother. So I hear you there, man. And uh, happy holidays to you and Jake out there, the Rangel boys. All right. Um, Patrick says, Daryl, rest in peace, has some excellent DVDs that cover easy to advance routines. Yeah, Daryl's series <laughs> is great as well uh, for learning card magic. So another good another good choice. Uh, Ralph says, uh, expert card technique. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's not at the top of my list, but it's a good one. It's one we should all have in our library. Uh, in my opinion, these are all my opinions, of course. So, yeah, uh, and of course, yes, John, uh, for for basic general knowledge of magic, the Tarbell series we should all have in our library too at some point. So, lots of good recommendations out there. You guys are helping me along tonight, so thank you for that. <laughs> Appreciate the help uh, for that for sure. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know uh, as well. Let's do a quick review for you. Uh, I've got some questions coming in. I know Stephen, I don't know if Stephen's still around. Stephen had um, posted something earlier today about, uh, does anyone have any um, any word on Punched? You're seeing it actually here on the front page of our website, Murphy's. Um, so I want to tell you about it because I watched it and I know what's going on here. So Punched basically is a, it's a technique. There is a gimmick included. There is something, there's actually two included, which is really cool, that allows you to literally uh, borrow a deck, mark it, or kind of gaff it in a way that only you can find out the information that you want. So one of the basic routines on here, I'll just kind of play you some of the video without the sound, um, is that you have a deck of cards that's borrowed. And again, you know, Paul Wilson's dropping some, some love on this. Um, you, you basically have a deck of cards borrowed. They name any four of a kind. You run through the deck, you, you upchuck the cards to show that they're all still there. You hand the deck to be shuffled. Again, the deck has now been shuffled. You take back the deck and you can literally do what you're seeing here. You can deal through the cards blindfolded without looking and find the four of a kind that they just shuffled back into the deck. Um, or you can, um, what's the other way? You can cut. You can just dead cut the cards. You can take the deck that they shuffled and you just start cutting one-handed cuts right to the cards, those four of a kind cards there too. Um, the gimmick is very, very easy to have with you. It's also very easy to use in real time. And you're going to see this. This is legit. He's literally going through the deck and the action of up jogging the cards. He's doing the work while he's doing that. So look how justified that is. We all do it. You name a card here. I'm just going to up jog it. Right? We're out jogging. 
Um, and now they literally can shuffle the deck as much as they want. And the cool part is because you're handing the deck out at that point, now you're clean. They take the deck, they give it back to you, and now you're able to locate those four of a kind cards that they just shuffled back into the deck. Uh, for 25 bucks, honestly, guys, I think this is a steal. Really? I think it's a steal. Um, they also give you some extra routines, which I think are a little overkill. That's just me. Um, as you'll see in the trailer in just a second, some smash and stab type of ways to use it and things like that. And I think it's great to give you extra stuff. I think this is just icing on the cake, uh, the smash and stab stuff here. Um, the card stuff alone is kick ass and worth the 25 bucks alone. Um, so there you go. That is punched. Again, you do receive two gimmicks here. Um, very easy to handle and very easy to conceal. Um, and also they give you a way to carry this in a very convenient way too. I don't want to tip too much, but this is something you can have on you all the time when you leave home and you won't even think about it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is legit. And I did see some people out there asking, uh, about this, I wanted to get in there and try to answer some questions because I haven't watched this and I, I do know what's going on. So when I saw the price, that's what made me go, all right, this is this is exactly what it should be for the price. So that, again, is called uh, Punched. It comes out from our friends at Abstract Effects and David Michael Fox. Um, Steven says he's excited. Good. You know, I'm glad I could try to help you out here. Uh, does it work with cards or can you mark envelopes? That's the thing. You can definitely mark other things too. And that's why they're showing you things like the smash and stab. I think they showed you the thing at the end with um, drawing some stuff on um, envelopes. No, not envelopes. Uh, index cards. Index cards. Um, you could do like a living dead thing with this. There's a lot you could do with it even outside of cards for sure. Um, absolutely. Um, might check it out. It looks like a method that is very old. It is an older method, but the gimmick they give you allows you to do this, uh, I guess you could say in a, in a modern way. Um, the idea of marking cards with a punch is nothing new, I agree. Um, but the way that they've worked it, I think it justifies releasing this, um, especially the ease of the gimmick. So that's my quick review of this. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, feel free uh, to let me know. Um, but I don't want to ramble too long, so I don't want to come in. Um, about this, but it is good. And I was not asked by the Murphy's team to talk about it. There were questions about it. And I want to give you my honest opinion. And that, my friends, is why I do not do weekly review shows for you because I work with the company that distributes magic to magic shops all over the world. So if I just went online every week and I told you everything is great, you're going to look at me and go, look, you're full of crap. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I respect you and I hope that you respect me in return and my opinion in return. I'm never going to steer you wrong. I'll try not to. Anyway, I'm genuinely here to try to help you. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ray, what's the name of the deck of cards that are made of clear plastic yet? You can see a raised image. I think you're talking about the Aquas, aren't you? These came out not too long ago. Uh, let me see if I can find exact. Here they are. The Invisible Aqua Playing Cards. And thanks for the love, Kelly. Good to see you out there. Hope you had a good holiday. Uh, these are the Invisible Aquas. That uh, I think this is the deck you were talking about here, right? These are beautiful decks of cards. And again, this came in from, from Ray. There you go, Ray. Hopefully this is the deck. It's 20 bucks, waterproof, but it's cool because you can still spread them and you can you know, do all your fun stuff. Um, but yeah, here's a look at those in action there. Thank you for the love, Mike. See you down. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, yep. Uh, I got you, Ray. I got you, man. That's it. Yeah, buddy, you got it, man. No worries. Glad to help you out. So here's a couple pictures. You guys haven't seen these before. Pretty rad. Pretty pretty crazy idea. Um, but the detail is there. It's just, you know, it's kind of hiding there. Invisible, as they say. And waterproof. So there you go. Go do magic in the rain. <laughs> Anywhere, anytime. Magic. <laughs> all right um, let me come back here and also i want to quick do a quick intro myself i don't do this enough I, I just i see so many familiar friends but i know we have new people popping up each week too so quick rundown uh, my name is luke dancy we're going into a new year and we're gonna have a lot of new faces so uh i'm coming at you from las vegas so if you are new i'd love to know where you're watching from um i've been around magic for over 30 years uh both as a performer as a creator of magic and also as a magic consultant Worked with Chris Angel for seven years throughout his Mind Freak TV series and some other projects, and I still live in Vegas. 
Um, and that is what I do. And I work with Murphy's, basically helping you guys out, deciding if this stuff that's coming out is right for you. And I also give you some exclusives along the way. I do that for you. And also try to give you my honest opinions and feedback on stuff too. And hook you up with free stuff. Free magic too. So yeah. Uh, Michael Sproul is watching from Ohio. Very cool. Actually, Michael, it's the holidays. Um, I believe the Christmas Story House is in Ohio. Is that right? I think it's in Cleveland. I want to go. I want to go. Uh, not new, but I'm from Philly. Hey, what's up, Mr. Masato? Good to see you, man. We're giving it up for Mr. Masato. He's in the house. He is in the house. Mr. Masato is a, a great guy. And happy holidays to you, sir. I hope you're having a great holiday with your, your fam or staying safe, you know, one or the other or both. Uh, but good to see you out there, man. Always a pleasure. Hope to run into you at a convention again when we're able to do that. <laughs> Sooner than later, hopefully, right? Hopefully. Uh, let's see, John Wolf. What is your top recommendation for new material for stand-up banquet venues, not walk around? Honestly, the trick we have up for grabs this week, John, is great for that. Uh, it's it's funny you ask about kind of stand-up stuff. Um, this is a great routine uh it sincerely is the airplane mode is great um for stand-up 100 percent pack small play big it's got a great theme obviously when we can start performing again uh live or even virtually a great topic travel it's a really good topic right you know everyone wants to travel um and it'll be a very relevant thing for a while everyone talking about where they want to go or where they've been or you know so this is a great great routine for 70 bucks you get a lot of stuff and george iglesias um is a working pro as well so you know he's actually using this stuff, which you know says a lot as well. Um, Kelly joining us from Yakima, Washington. Good to see you out there. All right, from Washington. I knew I knew we've seen each other, Kelly, but I don't think I knew where you were from. So, all right, got another friend from Ohio. Ray's out there in Ohio as well. All right, uh, CJ Buck. What's up, man? Uh, out there in Alberta, Canada. Yes, sir. Good to see you, man. Good to see you out there. We are about an hour into this, 45 minutes into this. So don't forget to enter the giveaway, man. This is the giveaway, CJ. Airplane mode. If you want to enter, like this video, drop a like on it. And number two, tell me what your New Year's resolution is. All you guys, if you're just joining us, because I know people come and go because we're live. This is up for grabs. 70 bucks for YouTube and Facebook. So we're giving away two. If you want to enter to win it, like the video. And then tell me what your New Year's resolution is in the comments. And you're entered, and I'll announce the winners next week. After the New Year, I guess next year. <laughs> I'll announce the winners next year for you guys. All right. Okay, let's see here. Yes, that's me. Uh, let's see, Texas gang. Texas gang in the house. All right. Kelly is out there from Illinois. Uh, I'm going to guess you guys have had some snow by now uh, over in Illinois. I don't think so. Um, Patrick out there in Port Orchard, where nothing happens all the time. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Huh? Hey, thank you for the love, Mr. Masato. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. It's having some fun on a Tuesday night. Uh, and if you are joining me uh, for the first time, or maybe you, you haven't been around too much, we do these live every single Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I just hang out. I show you exclusive new magic. I'm going to show you guys the exclusive one more time in just a second here from Ava Yap. This is coming out on Monday. You guys don't go anywhere if you just got here. I want to show you this. Um, so every Tuesday night I come here and I do this for you guys. We have giveaways every single week. Free magic you can win. You can ask questions. It's just a way to hang out, talk magic, meet some new friends, and um, just eat tacos sometimes too because you know it's tuesday and sometimes i eat tacos and sometimes if you've never been here sometimes i actually give away taco bell gift cards but that's just what i do yeah so i'm going to show you guys this uh chris kenner says by the way the magician i'm going to show you is one of his favorite magicians of this era chris kenner david copperfield's right hand guy is loving what this guy does um, this is dropping on Monday. I'm going to show you the exclusive one more time. If you've been here the whole time, enjoy it again. If you're just joining me here, get ready for something special. This is dropping Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, but you get your first look right now. Ava Yap is a name you'll be hearing about for a very long time. 
If you're just seeing him for the first time here, put your phone down, watch this. When I was first introduced to the magic industry, I was known to be a card guy, someone that does very knacky and very visual card magic. But as you've come to know it, I'm a coin guy. Where did that come from? Huh? I am completely fooled. Holy cow. And this is the one that stopped it all. This routine is one of my oldest creations, and it has evolved over and over again over the years. When I meet someone, and when they ask me to do something, this is usually the routine that I show. In fact, in conventions, when I meet big name magicians, this is also the routine that I show. Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, was that a little bit too quick? The last yeah, one, I'm gonna, gonna slow bit too down. Quick. Okay. Um, you know what, let's restart. Uh, this is one. <laughs> uh, okay. And then there's uh, two. Yeah. Like I said, the last one in slow motion. Ooh, beautiful. That was cool. Thank you so much. That was very cool. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes. Lots and lots of love for this guy. Uh, Eva Yap. Uh, major release coming to you guys Monday, Monday, Monday. Uh, incredible stuff. Um, you'll get all the details then. And Eva Yap will also be my guest next week. Uh, I think next uh, Wednesday um from singapore and he may show you some magic live because that's what he does he is one of the best and i uh, can't wait for you guys to see more of his magic i've had the great opportunity to see him start to flourish and i remember the first time we were hanging out online and chris kenner popped on chris was having so much fun he got homer leewag to pop on and, and some other friends larry fong and they were just all loving avi's magic and i know you guys are going to love it too so you're in for a treat uh, with Monarch. All right. Cool. Uh, Jared's giving it some love. He says the speed and smoothness is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, man. It's, it's ridiculous. But the cool thing is, Ava is one of the nicest guys you're ever going to meet, too. Uh, and I think that's why I love this even more, is because he's just a genuinely great guy. Uh, be a beautiful. Yes, Mr. Peter, you are correct, sir. So you guys are getting your exclusive look at that here. You will not see that anywhere else. Um, until Monday of next week, because uh, like I mentioned earlier, there is no uh, pre-sale this Friday. There's nothing to show you a preview of for Friday because um, it's the new year. <laughs> so no products popping up on Friday. Okay. Uh, Mr. Masato is giving it his blessing. There you go. Uh, Rain says that looks sick. It's because it is. It is sick. It is sick. Uh, it is good stuff. So, yes. Um, I had something else I want to show you guys too. This is a really, uh, there's two quick things I want to show you real quick before you get out of here. So don't go anywhere yet. Two more quick things for you. Uh, let me go back over here. Website time, website time. All right. So, uh, two things I want to let you know about. Number one, uh, the Vanishing Ring Black Edition is officially back in stock. These have been out for a while, uh, out of stock for a while. You put the ring in the box and you're able to hand them the box. And when they open it in their hands, the ring has vanished. And then you can reproduce it, you know, wherever you like it in a possible location. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys at all. Uh, Sans Mind does not have the best reputation in general for stuff, but this is one of the releases that actually a lot of people tend to like a lot. So that's why I wanted to show you this. Um, this is one of those that actually does what you want it to do. Um, and it happens in their hand, which is even better. So let me skip through the cinema, cinema graphic uh, trailer here because you don't care about that. You just want to see what happens like I do, right? Um, so hopefully we'll get to the, the good stuff here. All right. So this is officially back in stock. So this is not showing me too much yet, which is a shame. Okay. Let's get to it. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, so yeah, you borrow the ring, put it in the box, and, and it's gone. So hopefully we'll see it now. Um, or will we just see him talk some more? Are we going to see anything? Here we go. Look. Take off your ring, please. Okay. Put it in the box, please. Okay. Let me close the box. All right. Here we go. 
And just by doing that, the ring is gone. It's that cool. So if you ever have wanted to do like a ring flight routine, or if you wanted to do something, you know, ring for possible location, which I know ring flight is that, um, this is all self-contained and does that for you. So this is the black edition. Uh, as you can see, it's self-working and it is back in stock and it's safe, which is important too. Uh, so there you go. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it does come in three different colors, but the, the one that I know we have in stock is the black one for sure. So if you've been interested in that, now is your time to pick it up. Um, there's always motivational speaker portion. <laughs> Seems to be the case, right? Seems to be the case. All right, back to our website real quick. And by the way, if you guys are always invited, uh, let's pop over to the Murphy's Magic website to peek around. Uh, the address is very easy, murphysmagic.com. Um, keep in mind though that we are a magic distributor, wholesaler of magic, which means that we sell magic to magic shops, not to people like you. So if you see something that you like on our website, feel free to hit up your favorite magic shop um, and order it from them. Okay. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you before we wrap it up is a, uh, there's no video for this, but Hugo Shelley, uh, and thank you, Rohan, for the follow. Um, Hugo Shelley is a guy that I've had the pleasure to know for over 10 years. He is one of the early guys in the industry when it came to uh, electronics, you know, with magic. So what he's done here is he's taken the old color match thing and he's now applied it with some electronic stuff inside of it. Um, not color match, uh, color vision. Um, and basically he can, you can get the input on your phone now with an app. So this whole thing is a mechanical gizmo, 200 bucks. Uh, and you're able to tell them uh, which color obviously is on the face of the cube. Um, you can do it with the vibration, so you can get like a tactile feel with the vibration, or you can get the visual display. But your phone is the input source, it's what's getting the information, so your phone will vibrate in your pocket as the receiver, or you can see it on the screen and it'll tell you which color um, it is. Uh, so that is there and it is rechargeable, which is important to get 12 hours of battery life, which is plenty, um, and that is your look at it. So there's no video to show you, but um, I wanted to tell you guys about this personally because Hugo Shelley is a name that you can trust and depend on. Um, I know a lot of people have used his sixth sense for a long time to guess which hand effect. You know, they put the coin in the hand and you can tell which hand it is. Um, Hugo's work speaks for itself, um, and this one's great. So there you go. That is uh, iCube 3.0 from the awesome Hugo Shelley. Okay, so here you go. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what do you think about Glacier? So Glacier, I've watched it. Good question. Uh, I think it is a, uh, it's a nice thing, uh, a nice option compared to Waterworks. I know there's been a lot of buzz online about that. Um, if I'm not mistaken though, with Waterworks, uh, you cannot use a borrowed bottle. I don't think you can. Uh, with this one, hundred percent, you can, you can use that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, this is the liquid suspension also known as the hydrostatic glass, now done with water bottle. And again, you can borrow this as well. Um, so yeah, I have watched it for 30 bucks. I think the price is fair. Uh, the gimmick is very easy to use, easy to carry with you and to get in and out of play. If you choose to use it with your own bottle, it makes things a little bit easier. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but this is practical, workable, and uh, it's not gonna, not gonna hurt too much. You know, 30 bucks, I think it's fair. You know, we've had some good things today. The Punched for 25. I think that's a great fair price. I think this is a fair price for what you get. If this had been closer to 50 bucks, I would have said maybe. I think this is good for the price, um, for sure. And uh, super quick reset. If you're concerned about that, resets pretty quick. Um, and there you go. So yeah, the biggest selling point I think for this one though is that you can borrow the bottle. Um, and I would like to actually do a quick. Um, Look at Waterworks, and honestly, I don't even think you can buy Waterworks anymore. I don't. I, I've been looking for it for a friend for a while, and it's been out of stock for the longest time. Um, but let me see. Um, um, I'm gonna look here. I don't think you can use. Their bottle. I was trying to confirm that. 
Um, yeah, I don't believe, because it would have said here, probably pretty early on, that this was a, um, that this was a uh, borrowed bottle. But, yeah. Uh, and this one's 40 bucks. Glacier is 30 as well. So, there you go. Uh, OF Magic got punched. It's solid. It's solid. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you will definitely enjoy it. Uh, I used to do something similar when I was a kid, but I don't remember the name. Okay. And I know Dan Haas had his thing a long time ago, Flow, which was great too, like the Paul Harris thing. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and it says you could borrow the bottle too. Yeah, I think you could with Flow. I don't, I don't know about water looks for sure, but yeah. Anyway, um, let me look at my list one more time. Um, if you are uh, joining me late here, which I saw some friends just mention that. What's up, Braden? Good to see you. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, we are doing a great giveaway this week for Airplane Mode. This one is a solid piece of magic from George Glacius, $70 retail price. Uh, all you need to do to enter to win this is to drop a like on this video. And tell me in the comments, what is your New Year's resolution? What is your goal? What are some of your goals as a magician anyway for 2021? You know, things can only get better from here, right? Uh, so we thought we could you guys up with something great to kick off the New Year with. A great piece of magic to add to your show. You can do this on a virtual show too if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, that is a, a great giveaway this week. I'm super stoked to give away two of those, one for YouTube, one for Facebook. Now you know what to do to enter for your chance to win it. All right. And if you are just joining me here, these were our winners from last time around, two weeks ago. YouTube winner, if you're here now, Randall, congrats to you. He picked up uh, a deck of something I'll show you in a second, Randall Miller. And also our winner from Facebook, uh, Andrew Niner. Uh, they both pick up a deck of the Vanee playing cards from Paul Rabia. So we are doing giveaways every week. I just wasn't here last week because, you know, Christmas and stuff. And stuff. All right. Uh, Callan says, my goal, other than to be eight by, <laughs> uh, is to be able to perform a trick in another language. Okay. That's a cool goal. It seems very Colin. <laughs> I know Colin pretty well. Uh, so I think I can say that. The part about that, that seems very Colin. So anyway. Uh, and yes, congrats to our winners from two weeks ago. All right. So I think we'll start to wrap things up now, guys. Uh, gave you the good stuff. I showed you your preview. Uh, that's going to be a big one. The Monarch, uh, this guy right here from Avi Yap. Um, it's going to be just such a great release. I'm stoked for you guys to see it. Get your hands on it. Perform this, practice it. Uh, it is, it's great stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and I hope you guys have a fantastic new year. What are you guys going to do this year? Before we run, run out of here. Magic's done. Feel free to go if you're not interested in the rest. Um, what are you doing for New Year's this year? It's so weird. You know, even Vegas, there's no, like, you know, city of people in the streets. Fireworks, yes, but no people everywhere this year. What are you guys doing for New Year's this year? You know, we're only a couple days away from it. New Year's Eve, you performing? I know a couple people said they were. Uh, are you going to be watching some movies? What are you going to be doing? What are you, what are you guys doing uh, for, for New Year's Eve this year? Uh, no offense, no worries, my dude. My dude. <laughs> Colin's awesome. And Colin does some kick-ass magic, too. For what it's worth. If you see him at a convention, you better watch out. He will get you geared. Uh, Braden's hanging with the fam. Nothing wrong with that, my friend. It's good to be around family this time of year. I like Steve style. Twilight Zone. Marathon. It's good stuff. I wish... I really wish I had had like the Twilight Zone music queued up, but I didn't know he was going to say that. That would have been kind of cool, huh? <laughs> Julio was hanging home, probably safe, safer that way. OF chilling with the fam. Uh, John's going to be pestering his wife to pick a car. <laughs> I like your style more and more, John. As I hear, as I see your comments pop up, I like your style more and more, my friend. So don't be a stranger. I hope to see you around these parts again. Uh, Mr. Basado is. Uh, New Year's resolution to add more to his magic hoard. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at that too, dude. <laughs> pretty darn good at that as well. Uh, Maddie's off to Mexico. Well, safe travels, dude. Please be careful out there. Uh, Julio's zooming, zooming, zooming. 
Ralph is Sonic Cinema Experience Show on Facebook. That sounds fun. All right. Uh, taking some deep breaths and playing some old songs with the fam. Yeah, we can all welcome a new year with open arms. I'm sure of it. I am sure of that. And a happy new year to, to you, Mr. Mike Miller. Happy new year, my friend. I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you uh, in 2021. Where it would sure be nice to see you next year sometime, somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Magic Buzz, Mandalorian, Season 2 binge, you are in for a treat. I took the time to binge watch both seasons in two nights, did two nights, and Season 2 is fantastic. The finale is great. You will enjoy it, I am sure. I can't wait to hear what you think. Uh, Trevor, showing some close-up magic to the neighbors across the street for the first time. Cool, that'd be fun. Uh, getting married on New Year's, whoa, 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 stop. Mr. Masai was getting married on New Year's, whoa. That is beautiful. That is magic right there. Congratulations, Mr. Masato, who's going to ring in the new year with the new ring on his finger. See what I did there? Ring in the new year. New ring on his finger. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, congrats, though, for real. Party in Lagos 1999, but not really. Yeah, there you go. Uh, got a COVID test. Good. Good. You better be taking care of yourself out there. Yes, big congrats to Mr. Masato. What's up, Maddie? Another Maddie. How we doing out there? Um, what do you think is the best magic lecture? Oh, man, there's too many. Too many good ones out there. I can't give you just one. Too many good ones out there. Yeah. All right. So, guys, I'm going to run. We are going to bring in the music, as we always do. I want to wish you all a very happy new year. Uh, I will see you all next year, which sounds really weird. Actually, I'll take that back. I'll see some of you tomorrow. I'm chatting with Luca Volpe. Luca is a mentalist doing a lot of virtual stuff. He's going to join me tomorrow afternoon, 1230 Pacific time, 330 Eastern, if you want to hang out with them. Um, but I will see a lot of you next Tuesday right here next year. Sounds really weird saying that, but it's true. Next year. All right. And yes, as Magic Bus says, it'll be very easy to remember that anniversary. That's very true. Very, very true. Uh, hardest resolution ever to only watch one episode per day. Ooh, Cobra Kai one episode a day. That would be tough. That would be tough. All right. Happy New Year, my friends. Happy holidays. Be safe. Goes without being said. Please be safe. And I will catch you all next time. All right. It's always fun to see you. Can't wait to do it all over again. Here we go. <laughs> Hold the press, hold the press. Not doing a giveaway, but let me get these off screen real quick. Maddie had a question. Maddie is a regular. Maddie had a question. I'm not going to leave him hanging. Maddie says, one good lecture before you leave. And then he said, please. He said, please. I'm always watching the comments. I'm always looking. I'm always looking. Um, let me take a quick peek at our at the tables for you, bud. And then I will officially go, okay? At the tables. So we're not doing these anymore. There are new new ones, but there's a heck of a lot of these to choose from. Um, let me see if I can give you some, some highlights from our at the table lecture series here. Uh, I mean, a couple of people you cannot go wrong with right away. Garrett Thomas. Uh, Nicholas Lawrence, I would definitely put Nicholas Lawrence at the top of that list. Nicholas is a fantastic creator of magic. I absolutely am a big fan of his. Uh, Nicholas Lawrence's stuff is great. Uh, if you like card magic and coin magic, this guy is a sleeper. He's an old friend of mine, uh, and I hosted this one. Robert Moreland does a really, really great lecture. Um, again, this one's probably a little under the radar, but that's okay. Uh, the download is eight bucks. 
Uh, Robbie is one of those guys not a lot of people have heard of, but his stuff is fantastic. So that's a great one. For, for having some real talk here, Robert Morland's great. Uh, another one that I definitely would recommend, I also hosted this one, but he's a friend and just an amazing thinker. Ryan Slutz is, is great too. Ryan Ryan's magic is so smart and clever. It's not going to break your fingers. If you like creative card magic in particular, uh, Ryan's magic is great as well uh, for that type of stuff. Uh, and then a couple more people that I would recommend. Uh, let me see some other people. Kayla Morelli, if you like creative magic, he is a beast. So Kayla's this one. Uh, the Magic Buzz knows Robbie is excellent. Yeah, he is. He's fantastic. Um, a couple other highlights here. I'm trying my best. Um, you can't go with you can't go wrong with the big guys too. I know when we first kicked these off before I was with the company, we had uh, Michael Lamore. Uh, some of the big players out there, Danny Garcia, uh, Danny is another great one. So uh, just looking through, looking through. My buddy Mark Calabrese is also great. He's got a, great, a lot of great stuff. Low Sander does a fantastic lecture as well. I hosted that one. And sitting next to Low Sander, watching him do his magic look like real magic. It was just beautiful stuff. So those are a couple of highlights. I hope that helped you out, Maddie. I didn't want to leave you hanging, man. I know you were asking a question as we were trying to get out of here. We're not trying, but getting out of here. Um, so yeah, those are a few highlights. If you have any more you're looking forward, let me know. I'm always here to help, bud. So there you go. At the table, in my opinion, one of the best deals in Magic, and that's that's me, is, is Luke saying that, not as Luke that works with Murphy's. I mean, come on, eight bucks. Some of these lectures are like four hours long and they're just amazing. The stuff people give away, you learn like so much stuff, not only tricks, but also just like thinking you know, as well. So there you go. Maddie, you are very welcome, my friend. You are a great guy for hanging out. Always support. So it's the least I can do to help you out, my friend. All right. So with that said, I will go and I will enjoy the rest of my night and I hope that you do too, my friends. So take care of yourself and each other. And I'll catch you on this stuff. All right.